Ring game taking over, that's a promise, not a threat. Uppercut, season, north top, you stop breathing. Yeah, yeah, what's good, y'all? Welcome to another episode of Real Talk, where, as always, it shit's real, we talk about it. I'm your host for tonight, Pat Scorpio, the England representative, and as always, I got my man with me. I'm going to let him introduce himself. Yo, what it do, man? Shout out to the God, Go Artist, a.k.a. LB, Lotta Del Boss, El Capitan, RingGangRadio.com, in the building world, still alive. Let's go. Yes, sir. Ring gang in the house forever and always. And as always, I got my other man with me. I'm going to let him introduce himself. Hey, yo, what's good, y'all? Y'all already know who this is. Your boy, King P, Bodega P, Bodega Boxing, building. Ring gang radio all day. Let's go. Yes, sir. So who, who's been from the Bodega this week? Um, I was going to say nobody, but I changed my mind because I saw something that kind of kind of annoyed me. And I'm like, these motherfuckers are annoying. On Twitter, you got these motherfuckers that now they're putting up this this little thing, which the PFP and the user. Basically, the Twitter Twitter people are putting up their profile pictures and then a video of them, which is cool. And then a, like thousands of motherfuckers is putting up videos of them beating up people. And I'm like, why are y'all incriminating yourselves on fucking Twitter? Like, we don't even fucking be seeing that. You you could pick any video, especially the women. Y'all picking, y'all gotta pick a twerking video. Y'all gotta pick a dancing video. Y'all picking up big, big videos of y'all beating up other women? Like, nah, that ain't you. Get that shit out of here. We don't care. Hold on, nigga. I don't, I don't know if you know this, nigga, but Twitter is like the dark web now, nigga. It's just like you. I yeah. go on Twitter and just Google shit because I know I'm going to get the raw version of it. Yeah, <laughs> that, that, shit, that shit is not cute. That, that shit is trashy. Uh, get get your shit together. Nah. Because you you're going to come to the bodega and fight here and I'm going to kick you the fuck out. <laughs> Yo. Them women fights at the bodega be some of the like, best fights back in the day, dog. When corner still fights. Yo, Real fuck. shit. Them niggas keep the web in the back. <laughs> to remember, <laughs> the auntie fighting the cousin because the cousin took her man. Like, yeah, it's it's good entertainment, nigga. Now, now it's called VH1. <laughs> <laughs> yo, facts, yo, yeah, you had yo. to be there. Yeah, Twitter is Twitter. Yo, it's just clout. There's not nonstop clout demons going out, going against each other, man. You know, but uh, I but, yeah, look for fights, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm Nigga, niggas know uh, they following me because I'll be liking on all types of random violent shit. But Hell yeah. yeah, nigga, you do that shit all the time. <laughs> and the worst, the worst part is those motherfuckers can actually fight. If y'all gotta put up videos of y'all fighting, like don't be putting up videos of y'all throwing weak ass fucking punches. Like, come on. They gotta make it look uh, uh, authentic, man. You don't want a nigga pull up and eat a Dex Roy Jones and then motherfuckers is like, oh, hold on, he's trained. We pressing charges on this motherfucker. Like, <laughs> why are you throwing three left hooks? Like, nah, like, <laughs> like fuck that. Oh, shit, you silly ass niggas, yo. But yeah, no, I got my other man with me. I'm gonna let him introduce himself. Hey, what's fly? It's your boy, Conscious Pilot, the West Coast Avenger, number one contender. Preparing for liftoff, Destination Ring and Radio. Let's fly. Yes, sir. Conscious Pilot stays elevated above the clouds, you know, still incognito, you know, but we'll, we'll change that sooner or later. And uh, last but certainly not least, I got my other man with me. I'm going to let him introduce himself. Yo, what's good? You already know who the fuck it is. It's your boy, Rome Top 5, Chicago's home in the building. Ring gang, nigga, we here. We live. What's poppin'? Yes, sir. Rome Top 5, aka Chicago win because he leaves these niggas in the breeze. Can you dig it? So, yeah, man, you know, we had a, a lot of fucking boxing this weekend. That's that's just the best way to put it. Like, a lot of fucking boxing. You know, that's too much people. boxing. Like, you know, it should be at least, if you're going to do this, speak, you know, do it on one on Friday, one on Saturday, one on Sunday. You can do that. Like, space them shits out. Like, you know, niggas can, niggas can, can at least deal with that. But when you have them stacked upon each other like that, it's it's a pain yeah. in the ass. So, and someone's going to lose out because there's going to be a card or a fight that somebody that nigga's not going to get back to. Like, and, like right. y'all make it feel like work when y'all do it like this. Cause now I'm like, there's yeah. other shit I'm trying to watch on the weekend. Like, you're in the boxing, you're not the only thing. Like, especially all these goddamn random fights. Like, yeah, they may turn out better than they looked on paper, but goddamn it, like, 
you, like my enthusiasm was already killed earlier. Now they end up good. Now you're like, you basically saying like the bitch that walked by that was cute. Now you're telling me she got a fat ass. Now I gotta look behind me and I'm like, nigga, I'm already walking down the street doing what I'm doing. Like, like tell me earlier. Don't tell me like she a dime or she got it like that. So I gotta be breaking my no, nigga. Like, yeah. and that's what y'all be doing with this boxing shit. Now, now niggas is telling me like you got this fight of the year happened. This, this, this. Like, no, that's fucking too many, nigga. It's a new <laughs> week, man. I got other shit to do, nigga. Yeah, you no, know, like I say, I mean, and there was no well. Two of them, there was notable shit. One of them, which will, which will go first, was pretty much the status quo. But there, I mean, of course, I was surprised with just one of the fights. Of course, I'm talking about the top rank card, which I think everyone saw on there. And of course, uh, our own King P was actually in the house for it. So I'm going to let him lead the discussion, bro. So how was the atmosphere for the top rank card, bro? Oh, oh the atmosphere was dope. Um, you know what I'm saying? Newark was popping. It was it was all love, though. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. No, nothing crazy in Newark. I know Newark is a bad rap. <laughs> Uh, for many reasons, some of them le legitimate, but legitimately has a bad rap. I I've been there, nigga. Wait, that, no. that's legit. I, mean, I, I have I, I've been there plenty of times too. You know what I'm saying? But it was all love. The atmosphere was dope. Uh, we all just came to show love, watch boxing. Uh, there was there was a lot of a lot of baddies out there. I was not expecting that many baddies at a Shakur fight. Yeah, yeah, that's 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 yeah, that's there, the thing. There like there was also like seven, eight niggas I seen with rap a lot chains. I was like, uh oh, here yep. we go. But you know what I'm saying? Baptized. Hey. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but everybody was cool though. It was, it was love. And the atmosphere was dope. They definitely came to show out. And actually a lot of people came from like from New York. Because I was coming from New York too, but I was like, oh I'm from Queens. I'm coming from Brooklyn. I'm like, oh, we all coming out to Jersey to fucking support Shakur. And if anybody knows about New York and Jersey, a lot of times New York be like, you don't give a fuck about Jersey. You're shitting on Jersey. We came out to the New Jersey to support. You know what I'm saying? So it was it was a dope, dope car. So traffic, yeah. got me, traffic got me there a little late, but you know I made it just in time for the main car. Traffic? You should have just took the train in. I know they have trains. I mean, well, trains are kind of grimy. No, I don't know, no, but to get the, to take the train, it would have been a hassle. I just drove. I paid for parking, and I'm I, I, and that was it. So like, and funny thing is, I I, I could have got there, and there was part where the parking lot that I was at, there was like side parking for free, but I didn't know that. And I'm like, you know what? We just it was fifteen dollars. Not gonna fucking jip over fifteen dollars. Just pay the <laughs> shit and just walk to the to walk to the building. And I said, yeah, but then you you would have to listen to like three niggas mixtapes on you know parking your car at that free parking though. Yeah, and I'm yeah. saying like yeah, New York is like New York is one of those places where if you can put an area where them shit is monitored, you do that. No, but the spot that I went to was not monitored. Like oh. <laughs> anybody could just walked in. Wait, wait, what? Hold on, but but was the free spot monitored? <laughs> No, how you pay money to? That's like paying money in like an abandoned warehouse. Well, and, 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 like, because <laughs> it's it's one of those. It's there are some parking spots around there where like you pay for like you could drive in. You you park the car yourself and then pay while you're in the lot. Like I already prepaid, so I just I prepaid. Oh. They already got my license plate, and I just parked and I just walked from there, and that was it. Like. Straight, straight walk. A little ten minute walk for me. I walk fast, so I did it in like six. <laughs> Damn, I'm a fast walker. Yeah, we got a, a coke walk right there, bro. <laughs> you a yeah. speed walk that motherfucker. Yeah, no, like, I mean, don't worry. You, you weren't watching a Joshua card. You, you know, you you weren't gonna miss. It. Oh well, yeah, you were gonna miss something. If it was a Joshua card, you would have took your fucking time because all the dead space between fights. But yeah, ESPN should be going fast. So yeah, I'm smart. Yeah, yeah, you know, and uh, and uh, and the ESPN card was the last one that I actually saw though. But thank God ESPN Plus keeps them shits on demand. So that's the one, that's the one thing the beauty of that's the one thing about the streaming services. The on, well, Showtime needs to be on demand because uh, there's they, they they have way too much in their library to not have that shit on demand. But ESPN was the last one I caught and I was able to watch that shit like later. But yeah, you no, know, I mean pretty much all three fights kind of went the way we expected. I know. Oh well, I know we thought that maybe um, Anthony Yudjit might give Keyshawn Keyshawn Davis some issues. Didn't <laughs> yeah. also, also that, nigga, that nigga did more screaming than he did fighting. I was also, I mean, <laughs> what what card took the what fight kicked off the the, the start of the televised portion? You get yeah, oh, you get fight. Okay, 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 I was gonna say I watched a little bit. Shout out, uh, Troy Isley was on the undercard, not the televised portion. He did his thing, 
and so did uh Shushu. Shushu's that dude. I, I like I like uh Bruce Carrington Shushu a lot. Yeah, Shushu's yeah, Shushu's gonna be something for top rank. Like uh, you kind of need the KO because it's been a while since he got that viral KO. So and then was- uh, also uh. Keyshawn's younger brother Kelvin Davis for he's not that good. Yeah, I, I, you know his his brother is mid as fuck. Like, he's disappointed. He's disappointed. He's, disappointed. he's, disappointed. he's, disappointed. he's yeah. not good. I, Keyshawn got all the talent in that family. Bro. I mean, Kel, I mean Kelvin Davis is Marcellus Wilder all over again, nigga. Like he's not that. He's wait, not wait, that wait, wait, Kelvin oh, Davis. Oh, oh. He's not that. I, haven't we heard that name before? Kelvin is not bad. Kelvin is not as bad as Marcellus, but compared to Keyshawn, he's not very good. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, no. Yeah, I mean, we did hit that kid, Kelvin Davis. I mean, that's that's a that, that's a name from that's a throwback, nigga. A cruiserweight who who was supposed to be the next Mike Tyson. Yeah, had well, a couple he, of viral KOs. Yeah, until he jumped off like a train track or whatever, and he broke every back bone in his back yeah. or some shit like that. Wait, like, what the fuck? Yeah, no, yeah, that's what happened. Yeah, the nigga, like, yeah, the, the one we're talking about. He was good until he, I think he was running along like the train tracks and he had to escape get hit by a train and he broke all types of shit and you know, he kind of lost his prime after that. He, 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 that this nigga was running on a bridge? Like what the something fuck? Something like that, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, 2003 was a whole different time, yo. Yeah, seriously. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> it, it was, uh, you know, let's say it was dope, but the, 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 the untelevised portion gave me some, some uh, good appetizers before the main card started. You really like, fucking waited so long to fucking start the main card that a couple in front of me fell asleep. And I'm like, wait. Yeah, I saw that picture you posted. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like wait. I thought they were just laying down, just snuggling up. I'm like, oh, how cute. And then I'm looking, like, they're not moving at all. I'm like, wait, these motherfuckers are sleeping. And, and they say Shakur puts people to sleep. Shakur ain't in a fight yet. What are we doing here? <laughs> yo, they, yo, they should have they they went to that concession stand, got themselves an energy drink, even though pay $12 for energy drink. That's what yeah. ridiculous ass price is. I mean, you don't need to pay. The price will wake your ass up. You see, <laughs> I don't worry. I'm up. <laughs> hey, fuck, I, mean, I ain't only, made no $12. The only, the only good thing about like the, the long wait, when there wasn't, the only thing that came out of it was we got the, they announced it there at the arena about the official Taylor Teal fight, uh, June 10th. So, you know what I'm saying? Everybody, everybody went crazy over that. They all, they all got, a, they got a nice pop when it's showing on the monitor. So. Uh, yeah, that's the, <coughs> that's about the hypest mid fight I could think of. Yeah, yeah, because you know you have to you have to make sure now because it's either you make it now or one of them niggas will take another loss that kind of ruins the fight. Let's see, that's pretty much what it is. But so, yo, who's yeah. this wearable fast nigga? Like, the oh, f- pilot want to show his face. Yeah. Come on, you- <laughs> yeah. it's crazy how y'all niggas wearing football shit, but me and pilot wearing like athletic. Like, I got Reebok. This nigga got Adidas. Yeah, no, yeah. It, it, well, I have to remind myself, you know, even though football season's over and you know things, those things are still the same in my world. You know what I mean? We <laughs> 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 were eagle the trash, and now y'all don't get nobody in a draft. Ha ha. Okay, I'm not gonna talk about it. I'm not getting to the football. Anyway, football anyway, 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 anyway. Oh, it's so like the first, the first fight, you know, with uh, Keyshawn and Yijit was a good, it was a good opener. Um, Yijit, I hate watching Yijit fight. His style is fucking awkward. Like, does, too- does he fight like that in every fight? Yeah, yeah. he's he's very herky jerky and like it's a rough watch. Depends. He, he he always be yelling or he was just very disturbed because he couldn't beat this nigga. No, <laughs> he, he, I mean he actually touched up Keyshawn more than I thought he would. Like, what are you doing? Keyshawn yeah, kind of let him though. Like Keyshawn, he knew I, he I knew he couldn't. He knew he couldn't win, so it was like, you know, one of them kids just throwing a tantrum type shit. It's like, fuck, I can't do it, but I'm still here. I'm just, he was screaming. He was tough. tough. Were there booze peak? Were there booze in the middle of the fight, or was I tripping? Nigga was dropping his hands, just getting There was booze. There was a section section of booze. Cause nigga was taking too fucking long, like knock this nigga out, like goddamn. He kind of- He was was letting the nigga just tee off. I'm like, yo. By the sixth round, like it was like you just had nothing. Like so yeah. we just had to wait three extra rounds of a beatdown. You just nose was all bloody. I'm like, okay, yeah. let's 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 see when we finally get this over. And the ninth round they finally ended. So yeah, that's, that's the shit I don't like. Yo, yeah, you just thought the dude wasn't strong enough to like put him down, but he knew he wasn't he, gonna win a fight. I don't know if it's a good or bad thing, but he kind of um, does his best impression sometimes with Terrence Crawford. I know he trains with Terrence Crawford, Shakur, then, but I feel like he tries to fight like butt a little bit too much. I don't know. 
I mean, in the trade, in now, I wish he did fight like Bud because Bud would have got dude out of there in like five rounds. Yeah, yeah. yeah, they're both and they're both trained by Bomac. So. By Bomac with the Cheetos. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was, it was the Cheetos. Good. <laughs> it was a good start. It was a good. It was a yo. Good they start. was roasting that motherfucker with that shit, yo. Yeah. <laughs> I get because honestly, it looks like no one can say you can't eat no snack food, but it just kind of looks bad if Listen, you're a boxing why trainer. Are you, why are you doing that in the middle of a fight? Like, yeah, like, ESPN, like ESPN, you know. You you like you that hungry? You gotta have a snack that bad? Like you got the camera shot, brother. Well, it, it, it reminds me. It reminds me of the football. I would like. Years ago, like 12 years ago, I was uh, the Jets quarterback, Mark Sanchez, got caught on the sidelines eating a hot dog on the bench. I'm like, why are you on the bench just like eating a hot dog in the middle of the camera? Like, you couldn't, mm-hmm. have, been <laughs> you couldn't have just waited till you got off camera during a game. Like, nigga. Yeah. Oh, what are we doing? Like, <laughs> oh, hold on. Shout out to Android. What it do? Um, had the picture and picture at one point. Yeah, she better than me, nigga. Yeah. Fuck all that. I ain't making my shit look like a goddamn the Baxter's yeah, to in the laboratory. The TV and two laptops, you know what I'm saying? Shit. Yeah, and then know. David and he says David's footwork is unbelievable. He was showing off, which he was. Yeah, he was showing his ass off. Like, yeah, he was showing off real hard. I, think he's got a, I mean, he's really talented. I think he's got to move a little bit more laterally because he's, he's so straight up and down. I don't know. Like, there's something. I mean, he just needs to just beat niggas' ass. Fuck that. Put. Yeah, yeah. He, he got power. How do you don't have power? So like, he doesn't use his power. <laughs> properly i don't know it's like yeah yeah it's like dude i know you're trying to be entertaining but all that shit you did you could have did all that in five rounds and still get niggas a show when did roly get him out when did roly get that guy like two rounds earlier yeah 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 Yeah. in a rougher fight (laughs) it was more competitive i mean roly has 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 a a more awkward style than Yidget, so it was too awkward, motherfucker. Too awkward style. God, yeah. Damn, that was one of the roughest fights yeah, I've seen. Right. I remember that. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I, I remember watching that fight. I'm like, wait, hold on. Is this boxing or wrestling? Like, what are we doing? It's like you stuffed like two midgets in a in a suitcase, and you tied them together by the ankles, and you <laughs> threw them off a bridge, and they had to fight to the death in a in a lake or something. Like, that's how rough that fight was. God damn, my imagination is crazy, but yeah, um, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> but yeah, I, I'm glad he got him out. Um, yo, let me ask y'all real quick before we move on to the next one. What's up, Davis or Frank Martin? Yo, who wins if there was a fight next? Frank Martin, Frank Martin, right now, but I think oh, yeah. like the upside potential, like in two, three years, Keyshawn, but right now, Frank Martin, I, 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 I would give it to Frank right now, but as as Keyshawn gets more time, I'll give it to Keyshawn. Ke- Keyshawn is definitely the more talented too. I don't even know. Like, I think Frank Martin just got him all the way. Like, fuck all this mm-hmm. next year, three years. Like, yeah, yeah, I can see Keyshawn, like, the. Ah, I gotta see him just destroy niggas without this three asterisks, man. I, I just I, Frank Frank's athleticism would cause a lot of issues with uh, for Keyshawn. I will say that, but it's the skill with the athleticism, though. Yeah, no, no, absolutely. But I'm just saying, I will I will Keyshawn hasn't fought anywhere near anyone near as athletic as Frank. Frank so. yeah. But I mean, Frank did look good in the Marinas fight. He did. He obviously had performance of the year with uh, with against. But, um, but Jackson Marinas, yeah. like, he fought him on like a, a, a week's notice. A week's notice. Well, Marinas came late, you know, but still, still, I still beat him. So yeah, yeah, he still right. beat him. He got him out of there, but he was looking a little struggle. But I mean, what Keyshawn? What this is eighth or ninth fight, you know? So. Yeah, I mean, if the fight was going to happen, which it ain't going to happen, but if it were to, Frank would, I mean, I think, I think Damn. You know. Andre, you think he beats Frank Martin now? Uh, I guess so. Some people, some people feel that way. I mean, some people think so. Shit. I mean, dude look good, but man, like, you supposed to thrash Yigit, bro, like... Yeah, I mean, I mean, at least he got him out of there. I mean, I mean, just, I mean if he went the distance, I'd be like, yeah, what the fuck, yeah. He, I mean, he damn near went the distance, like, the fuck? <laughs> yeah, you, you're right. You're right. Yeah, you know, it, it did go to nine. So hey, it's like, yeah. hey, 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 hey. almost only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades. So. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you nah, nah, that brandy girl had a almost doesn't count. Would y'all say, yeah, yeah. Let me ask y'all real quick. Would y'all say Keyshawn's top ten lightweight? I mean, he might be lightweight. Like lightweight's kind of top heavy. So I could, I yeah, lightweight's see. top heavy. So I can see him down. Uh, he might be there somewhere around Zapata. Yeah, yeah, of course. Like, but I'm saying, like, wherever Zapata is, he's not too far off he's from it. Yeah, I'll probably put him like eight or nine. Yeah, like I'm if Zapata's seven, 
Davis is at least nine or or, or something. Like okay, a realistic fight. Could you could see him fighting Jermaine Ortiz next year or something or, or no? Nah, too early yeah. for all that. I mean, I, I see Jermaine. I don't know, I can see I can see that. Moving up. I think mean, Jermaine might be in line because he might like when the belts get shaped loose, he might be he in might line. get a chance, yeah. Get a vacant belt. So we'll see. Lightweight's gonna shake up after the Haney fight. So Okay, let me know. Davis and Ortiz, if there was a fight next. Oh, uh, I, I, Ortiz would still give him a hard fight. Ortiz is big. Ortiz should be a 140, to be honest. But, you know, I think he pull. That might be a fucking draw, nigga. I don't know. That'd be a tough fight. That'd be a tough fight. Be a tough fight. Well, I mean, what's a good next fight for Keyshawn? Like at this point, like he's really fucking at, uh, Ortiz. Nigga. Ortiz, Ortiz might be talking that shit. There's someone in between. There's someone in between Egypt and Ortiz. No, Rivera. Not different. No, Rivera's different. out of the picture. Like he's gonna yeah, have Rivera's yeah. like, Rivera to rebuild all the way up. I ain't, I ain't called him Ali since. <laughs> yeah, 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 it's like you know. <laughs> I mean, dude, dude just needs a. You, you could call him Clay, though. Yeah, I mean, Rivera just needs that number one all around. He doesn't. He needs to shave off that. He, he ain't no Ali anymore. There's no more of that shit. He has to yeah, okay. I mean, can he be called Clay, though? Like, <laughs> not even that. Like, nope, not even Clay. Not even. Clay. God damn. <laughs> I think it's wrong. <laughs> You know, but but I mean, I'll, but, uh, yeah, I'll give Keisha Davis. I mean, he at least he got the stoppage too. So I mean, I thought Yujik would at least give him a little bit of issue, but Yujik gave him like none. He's just just like he just beat his ass and just took him a little longer to do it. You know. Yeah. However, Jared Anderson though he didn't take he didn't waste no yeah, more time. He, he, didn't waste no, he didn't waste no time. Jared got him out quickly. Right. But the yeah. thing is, he took his time, but he didn't waste his time. Now I'm hearing people say his his defense is still trash. I don't think his defense is that bad though. I yo, I know, yo, honestly, yo, pilot is getting to the point. Motherfuckers don't know what they're watching. Like they, they honestly don't. They say he leans back a little bit too much, though. I don't know. I'm here. What the fuck you want him to do? Like the man's like what six four? Like yeah, yeah, yeah. He's not gonna be ducking under motherfucker who's like five eleven. Like yeah. What's up? Like like when people come forward. They get hit more, like god damn. Yeah, and and he, and he did it because Arias is not really. I mean, yeah, Arias he, not a punch. Arias he's not a puncher, so that's why he did it. Yeah, and here he wasn't even throwing punches. Like, look, Arias only caught him with like I think the left hook. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like once or twice, not even that many times. I felt like. Yeah, maybe three times out of fucking three rounds, and only one of them was like like a decent like okay. <laughs> But he wasn't selling out with him. Like I would look if, if that's if you only got one punch you could land on somebody, and that's the best one you could throw, sell out with that motherfucker. Like he needed to be jumping up like he was fucking smoking Joe in that bitch. Mm -mm. Like I mean, you may as well shit. So who you think his next fight gonna be then? I'm, I, I say to calm because I know he's fighting in Toledo, Ohio. Uh, like in nah, Maryland. man, get a better name, nigga. I'm just saying to calm's a safe name for now. I mean, who else? Who else really though? Right now, Dude, he don't need safe. He need top ten now. I'm not, like. I'm not top ten, but are they gonna throw him in there right now? Well, you know, with Dude, how many motherfuckers? Like, come on. You, need, you think he's ready? For, ready? Ready? Like, give me a name. yes, yes. Dude, look, look. We're tired of seeing this mother. Like, you gonna feed him to a job or somebody? Like, here you go. Hold on, a job? Calling Johnny Rice. Call Johnny Rice. <laughs> Johnny, Johnny, Rice. Johnny, get in there. We need a good fight. <laughs> a job would be a good fight. What, I, I what about? Friends. I, think, I think they train together. So. What about Patera? Who? Who? Francisco Patera. From Italy? No, you think you think, they're gonna, you think Top Rank is gonna bring him in like that? Or they could use that Mokhmadov guy, but they're probably not gonna match him up with Mokhmadov. You know that that uh. He beats Wardley. Yeah, the dude yeah. struggled against Takam now. They, they probably wouldn't. So I'm just thinking of a name like Takam is, is a name that I think like has a name's value. So His name is durable, but you're not gonna learn anything new with he fighting Takam. He, he needs to fight. Yoka. He just beat that Yoka guy, so probably oh, like. I was gonna say bum ass Trevor Bryant. <laughs> no. Dude, they look the look. former champion. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No, no, give give Rice a fight with Takam. That's a good co-main. <laughs> That'd be good. But I mean, they both coming off of upset wins. You know what I mean? I see. Five. But I just feel like Anderson is like above that a little yeah. bit now. Yeah. Like put him in there with the other big baby, the original big baby. <laughs> I don't mind that either, because at least at least we know he's going against a puncher, and he's gonna be there. Like maybe they could slug it out. Like 
No, that's yeah. I mean, no, Big Baby still be knocking niggas out. I mean, I see, you know? I see, I see right yeah. above him in the WBA is uh, Garcia. Shit, maybe they were Gassi. Oh. Yo, Gassi could can, can, he can probably ice him. That's that, that's a risk. Yeah, that's a big yeah, risk. Dude, we, hey, it's it's that time, son. We got to see it. I mean, hey, 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 put up or shut up at some point. He's like 23. Thank so you. Know, Wait, like... Y'all talking about Johnny Rice. Johnny Rice could ice this dude. Like, dude, like, we don't know how good of a punch he could take at, like, the highest level. And yeah. If you're these are heavy, these are heavyweights. These are heavyweights. You, remember, it's not like we're not even throwing a Frank Sanchez at dude yeah. or Luis Ortiz or or, or or anybody. We're just throwing like some mid level. I mean, without politics, I would say the perfect fight would be a Hergovic. So both of these guys, or a Jabba, or even a Jabba. That, no, no, know, like, so. like, like including, yeah, a Jabba or Stephen Shaw is probably the, the closest thing you're gonna get. No, 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 it's not Stephen. Nah, 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 don't say that Shaw name, bro. <laughs> yeah, that's Shaw. Yeah. Ain't no Shaw around here, bro. Ain't no more Shaw. <laughs> What about Floyd? About what about Floyd? What about Floyd? Who? Floyd Schofield. <laughs> what? What? No, what are you reading? Like, what the vi- like? Oh, 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 oh. What, Floyd Schofield. All right. Nigga, it's not a fucking heavyweight, nigga. What the oh, fuck? <laughs> I think he's still. I think he's still thinking about fucking one thirty five. Like, no, we're not talking. Oh, okay, about okay, okay. Oh, my bad, my bad. Yeah, I was like, I was like, no, oh, like, like, uh, <laughs> pilot, get, pilot gets to say scroll up. Oh, oh wow. my bad, scroll up. God damn, thank you. Yeah, the, I mean, because <laughs> I was reading. I was, I was reading. My bad. Yeah, I mean, there's, a, I mean, there's a number of things out there. Just now. depends, like, you know, depends if Top Rank really wants to do what they're doing with Keyshawn. Let's put, start putting in there with some real, like, some names or whatever. So, but yeah, but that oh. area's fight, yeah, I mean, that area's fight went the way I, I said. Yeah, he's gonna body dude because there, there, there's no way that a five foot eleven Dominican was gonna bother that nigga, man. Yeah, that didn't, <laughs> that didn't bother him. You know. And uh, yeah, this, uh, then, we, then we got Shakur in the, in the Yoshino fight. You know, I mean, and like I said, I actually held the Japanese cat to a uh, standard because it was like he had two, he had good wins going into the fight. So yeah, I think he's not no Japanese, he's not no, no, no Uber driver, whatever they have out there in Japan. He, he beat Nakatani up, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, he did. You know, he, he has the win over Ido, like he's a former world shit, champion. Bro, so. Yeah, shit. Even some of them Uber driver Japanese fighters can punch still. But uh, yeah, yeah. He put the yeah. final nail in the coffin in Nakatani. Like I, when I, after I, was, I think that was the fight. I was like, damn, my friend's eyes fucked up again. He needs to call it quits. Yeah, and I'm thinking to myself, okay, like you know, I'm thinking maybe, maybe he might give Shakur maybe at least a good couple, three, maybe even four hard, good hard rounds. He gave him no hard rounds. They get yeah. like. Shakur yeah, made, made it look easy. Yeah, too easy. I was like, God damn. You know, I don't think he gave him a hard 30 seconds, bro. Let alone a round. I, I think I'm the only one that called a stoppage, but that was just more of a Hail Mary, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah cause, cause, yeah, cause I was thinking to myself, cause usually the Asians have, you know, the, I know Asian always has the, the fighting spirit. Yeah, Shakur, I, I guess yeah. this one left his in the locker room. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he was outclassed. I mean, shit, the yeah. pinpoint accuracy, like, I mean, I'm not trying to say, sh- I don't use the word special. I try not to use it, but Shakur is definitely like a, sp- seems like a special fighter, you know what I mean? Future yeah, I mean, it looks like it looks like now that he's at 135, he's not draining himself. He's like, he's actually, get, he, he can actually beat some niggas down. Like, you know, yeah, that was yeah. a, I mean, he's that, in that the was pocket, a, in the pocket, like, just like doing some crazy shit, you know, like just pinpoint counters. I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, it was just, was, you know, not to say he's he not was teeing off. He was just getting whatever he wanted. Oh, he was teeing off. Yeah. Yeah, 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 I mean, yeah, yeah, that was that, that was an impressive point. I was like, I mean, if that's 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 the way to make a statement that says, "Hey, you know, welcome to the lightweight division officially." You know, officially. so I mean, I mean, he he, he, he that, that was the type he needed. He needed that type of that ass whooping. And like I said, you know, and like and the opponent was good enough to at least you know that was that you know that was you know that that was a you know that was a call out. You know, I'm saying like all all the lightweights got to you know well, really only, only Devin Haney really or Tank. <laughs> Hey, this what's what's happening? You know, you know. Brady, Brady, I see, I see you in the comments, Brady. What's good, Salute. Mm. Just, happy hey, to be here. just happy to be. Just you know, just happy to be in the U.S. Actually, yeah, facts. <laughs> I mean, Shakur definitely made him look like that, but you know, we said this. You know, I'll I'll take a page from the the episode where we discuss um Dennis Hogan versus Jamal Charlo. Mm-hmm. The promoters don't do a great job or of hyping up the B side. Mm-hmm. So when dudes beat their ass, niggas the casuals are like, damn, he just beat another jobber. He beat, you know, no one's not saying, well, you know, this jobber 
he was robbed of a junior middleweight world title in his previous fight. No, y'all don't mention that. Y'all just say he a jobber. He moved up in weight. And we have to mention, I mean, three three people did clearly duck him, or not duck him, but said no to the Shakur fight, you know. As yeah, that's also Exactly, true. but you gotta hype up the dude who did take the fight. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I don't think Top Rank did that as what they should have. Like, yeah. I, I mean... I mean, I don't think. I mean, well, they showed they showed some highlights. I mean, you know, but they, didn't have a, they had a blood, sweat, and tears for the last shit, but not this, right? They had a blood, sweat, and tears for Ramirez. Was it Ram- oh Dog Bay? They had, they had well, that's for a title fight, but still. I mean, yeah, exactly. So yeah, they, they should have done more for that. But I mean, either way, I mean, but in like you know, in Newark, I mean, Shakur delivered what they wanted to see, and that was a beatdown. <laughs> so that was like, that was that was what they wanted, and it was yeah. a real beatdown. Some people actually had some people had the nerve to say that. You know that um, the stoppage was bad in that fight. I was yeah, like, yeah, there, there, were, there were people that didn't like the stoppage. There were people. I, I wasn't complaining about it. Were they doing yeah. that? Were they doing that? Yo, niggas complain about everything because ain't nothing wrong with that stoppage. Like, what the yeah, fuck? Yeah, Shakur beat that, beat him down. Like, I mean, I was like, yeah, they pulled him out. Yeah, you got pulled. Yeah, that was like, well. y'all, y'all, need, y'all need, y'all need, y'all niggas need another boxing game to come out because like, <laughs> these knockouts ain't like doing it for y'all. Like, y'all see a nigga get beat down into the ground and be like, nah, nah, what y'all doing? Nah, he could fight. No, 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 no. no. See, no, I, no that's stop it. Like, no, niggas, niggas, niggas want to see a Fondora type KO loss, but we'll get into that in a little bit. You know, yeah, they want to see that type of shit. I, was like, I mean, well, like, what good. else? What else could Yosino do to to to, to support? What <laughs> else was Yosino. he gonna do? He I mean he got he got he got a couple three four few shots in, but he could he had nothing for Shakur. But, like, but it was like, dude, like honestly, the left hook that was landing on Anderson in the previous bout. Maybe was more effective than whatever Yoshino did. Yeah, yeah, yeah you And then and at least Yoshino had a guy in front of him the same size. Right. Imagine you five eleven trying to trying to throw hell Mary hooks at a motherfucker six four walking you down, and then he steps back and says, "You know what? I'm gonna beat your ass a different way." And then he goes and picks you apart anyway. Like, right. Yo, and Dice says stop, stoppage wasn't good. Like, I don't know why people like that stoppage was fine. Why like, y'all gotta tell us why the stoppage wasn't good, yo? Like, yeah, like I think we'll, we'll wait. Yeah, because it, it, it's ridiculous. I mean, like Shakur had him to like a sixty percent landed percentage. Like, you, like you get like what the fuck? Like, you know, uh, hey, what's up, boy? <laughs> I mean, could could it have continued? Yeah, sure, but we all know it wasn't gonna last like that great. It, it, it wasn't gonna last long. It, 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 the tides weren't gonna be turning. Like Yoshino didn't do anything. Like so, yeah, I, wasn't yeah. gonna, I, wasn't, I wasn't gonna complain about it. There's plenty. You just get his be done for a few more rounds. There's plenty, <laughs> so of, like, there's plenty of stoppages you could complain about. That one was not one. Hell no. Yeah. Not even a li- not even a little bit, nigga. Like nah. Not, not the hill I'm gonna die on. So yeah. Yeah. Man, unless you want to see niggas get killed, I mean. Right. Know. No, Shakur did what he had to do. Shakur is like, look, I'm in this lightweight division now, and Devin Haney is the lightweight champion. And when he beats Lomachenko, you know, we're gonna make some, we're gonna try to make some shit happen. Yeah, yeah, and the, and, the, and that that was the whole purpose, and it served its purpose. And he and Shakur held up to his held up to his end of the bargain. You know, he gave these niggas like he gave and he gave highlights. You know, because you know, top rank was was quick to show them them highlights. You know, because usually Shakur fights are kind of like. You know they're a little bit tedious sometimes with the highlights. You can put some highlights in the fight. Like, t- like, there are people still saying he was boring. I was like, what the fuck? Man, that shit Teddy Atlas said in that. Tw- I'm glad oh, yeah. Mr. Skills checked the moment. He's still that. boring. Like you're you're watching the UFC shit. You ain't even watching this fight. You like, you know, come on, you're, you're dude. Like you could tell, like bro, like some of these niggas is getting it's getting <laughs> ridiculous now. Like you see the agenda, the narrative being said, like. It was nothing boring about the Shakur Stevenson fight. Yeah, that, that, that was a good part overall. That You'll be the first nigga to say something boring. D- Dice said, I don't like premature stoppages. Dude was losing and getting dominated, but he didn't get dropped for a third time. Shrug. Well, Dice, I will ask you later on if you're still... You but know, I was like, y'all gotta see niggas get dropped 15 times? <laughs> I don't know if you like, saw Matisse. What is the Matisse one was, was probably a little more, more, you know, worse than that, for sure. I, didn't, I mean, I can see why people had a problem with it. I didn't have a problem with it, but I can see why people felt yeah, that way. I, I don't understand. I mean, I, I was like, you know, this might, we might need to have to either put this in a poll or something like this. Like, you know, yeah. like, what, like, I don't understand, like, what, I mean, it was a, it, it was stopped at the right time to me. It was just like, yo. Yeah, because it's like the, the being dropped has nothing to do with it to me, because, like, some people, they get hurt, they get dropped, others be out on their feet hurt. 
I mean, I get it. We all got a little bloodthirstiness in us. Yeah, no, I mean, we all do. But it's like one of those fights is like, yeah, like, you know, if you do at least one, like, maybe three rounds or something, like, at least, or something like yeah. that, I, okay, can you know. But maybe- then, re- remember, I was the one who wanted, who was who was mad at uh, Woods Trainer in the uh, Laura fight. Right, right, yeah. And, and I had legit reason because I'm like, yo, first of all, ref, he would have made Laura go back to the other corner. You had, like, Eight seconds left. Da 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 da. Like it was a competitive fight. Woods known for coming back. Da 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 da. Like, but it's like this dude here is like Yoshino. Like, come on, really? Yeah. Yeah. Though it, it was. Yeah. I, I, don't know. I mean, that, yeah. Like, like Pisa. That's not the hill I, I want to fucking die on. Like, you know, it's like you know, like it, it served its purpose. You know, and like I said, Yoshino. Like, it's still. I mean, he's still. A, I mean, he was to me. He was still good. He was a good opponent on paper, but you know. Shakur just was on a different level. He outclassed. Yeah, him. like bad. We, we got to the <laughs> point now with these crop of young fighters. We just got to start putting them in meaningful fights. Like mm-hmm. we're not gonna see the best of these guys until we see them in there with fellow top five guys. Like yeah, well, Shakur, I, I can't actually, even say Shakur's top ten anymore. Done that. Shakur actually has done that, so it's not like yeah, yeah, I know. But I'm just saying, like going forward, like so let me they need to make a plan like, where. They could really build up decent ops. Mm-hmm. And, well, and, well, we, we, we know the play for Loma. I mean, we know the play for Shakur. He wants to fight Loma probably for Undisputed. But if Haney wins in the belts to Spurs, what would be best for, you know? Because I'm sure Bob Aram wants Loma versus Haney. All the niggas going to want to move up by that time. Like, Haney going to be a 140 Haney fighter after If he wins, Haney going to move up. Yeah, I don't think he's going to stay down. At you, one. I mean, you can still do a, 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 like a Loma Shakur vacant, but I mean, you know. Yeah, you, you, yeah, you, but does that fight even have a damn? If Haney beats him and washes Loma, huh. yeah, does that fight like do, do you want to see Haney and I'm sorry, Shakur and um Loma now after that? Like, yeah, mostly, I, if yeah. Loma if Loma loses to fucking Haney and loses badly, I'm not. I, I don't want to see Loma. Nobody really want to remember see him. he he's gonna just probably fight Haney's leftovers after that. Because most think Haney's better. I mean, Shakur's better than Haney. You know what I mean? So it's like, oh, you know. Haney already beat you. In the yeah, show. I mean, it, uh, I mean, look, so, so Corey Stevenson need to be fighting Jermaine Ortiz easy. if he's angling for a Lomachenko fight, or if he wants to show people like, okay, yeah, I'm pretty I sure can handle a big, talented, young in his prime, this side of the hemisphere, this side of the world type of opponent Somebody who just well. gave Lomachenko a tough fight. I think yeah. that's a quality, reasonable fight to make next. If because I don't, we know that these niggas dick around with big fights so much that it'd be so hard for them to make them. Right, it's, it's crazy. Shakur's really top five in all the sanctioning bodies, like top two and three, and you know, like all four. So obviously his next fight's gonna be a title fight, most likely. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, yeah, in some I mean, capacity. I mean, for me, the fan of me wants to say, hey, maybe Haney will try to make 135 one more time after Lomachenko. Nah, I don't want to. I don't think so. Shakur ain't got the name for that. If it was Tank, yeah, but... I think eventually that fight will happen at 147, you know, in and Haney going to be a free agent, ain't it? Yeah, Haney's a free agent after this Lomachenko fight. It's not happening at 135. None of these fights happen at 135. I'm shocked Ryan Tank happening, but I don't think, you know, Haney and, and Shakur will be... Haney's going up to 140. Like, People move to 140, you know? Mm. So eventually, hopefully, they're the same division for now. The belt is going to drop, and then we're going to see who angles for what. So, yeah, it'll be fun to see. Yeah, you know, but yeah, though, Shakur though gets all, all the props in the world for what he did. Because I mean, like, like I said, I mean, he is showing that he is special. Because like I said, now the man strength has come in. Now he's not starving himself anymore. You know, so it's like it, it, you can tell he's fighting a lot better. Like you know, everything, everything seems to be clicking. Like I mean. Dude still hasn't gotten touched like real. I mean, I think only Nakatea is probably the only person that's actually bothered him with a punch. You know, like I think so far, like for the whole fights, you know, it's like. But then dude has just been. I mean, well, the Nakatea fight's not the best fight to watch, anyways. Regardless, no, <laughs> so it's yeah. like, you know. But at least now at one, at you know, he's been. I think he's more confident he could take a punch now too that he's bigger too. I mean, I do want to see him in deep waters or you know somebody to crack his shin, you know, to see, you know, you never know. You gotta, I mean, you gotta have that nigga fight like three times a year. He's not gonna do it with with these twice a year because yeah. yeah, with with this with the Yoshino fight, you have to get him in with a big opponent in his next fight, or you're gonna see the same shit. And yeah. I'm not sure. I'm not. I don't know how confident 
the boxing politics and everything is going to allow him to be in there later this year in a big fight. That's the only reason I mentioned the Jermaine Ortiz fight because I feel like that's a good consolation prize type. Unless you unless doing a cross fight, like you know, I would love to see Shakur Stevenson and Zapata fight. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. That'd be a great fight, like you know. But the Jermaine fight, I mean, that's not, I mean, I, I wouldn't complain about that fight. I love to see that. Fight. I wouldn't either. Like, it's a better fight than the Yoshino fight. Yeah, it's a dope fight. Yeah, it's a dope fight. Matter of fact, that's the fight they should have been making in the first place. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I yeah. kind of want Ortiz to get kind of a get, you know, not an easy layup, but you know, something lighter touch. But I'm, I'll take that versus Corey. Dude, like, like boxing don't move that way. Look. At all said and done, these motherfuckers ain't gonna be Hall of Fame with these damn records if if they fighting twice a year and one nigga's a, a layup and then the next fight's a halfway decent winnable fight. Like, yeah, right, dude. These motherfuckers gotta start jumping at the opportunities. If you gotta fight Lomachenko one fight, next fight you gotta fight fucking uh, Shakur Stevenson. Next fight you gotta fight Haney. Take the motherfucking fights, yo. Yo, facts. <laughs> Especially if you're competitive in all of these fights, if you if you're only win, if you're losing damn seven uh, 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 seven rounds to five in these fights or eight rounds, then take these fights. Now, if you start losing these motherfuckers eight rounds and I mean you know ten rounds or two, and you're getting dropped and beat up, that's different. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If you're going life or death. On some Derby and Chanko shit, then yeah, that's different. <laughs> but if people can make an argument that you won each of these fucking fights, then nigga, then hey, that's the game. Like for right. every for every Derby and Chanko, there's a Glenn Johnson. Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> a motherfucker who t- takes tough fights and then he wins them. Right. Motherfuckers is who's take who's traveling overseas to fight Clinton Woods, coming back states to fight Roy Jones, and then finishing the year off with Tarver. Yeah, they, uh, that's yeah, that's that's uh, that's road warrior shit. Like you know, yeah, why, like yeah, I mean, he just not spitting. The, yeah, that's why he got fighter of the year that year. They, you know, yeah, exactly. Yeah, you know, so yeah, that was that's that's a good example. But yeah, no, hopefully, like I said, no, these fighters. Like I mean, because I know I think some of them are starting to understand that their legacy now is they got to fight. So I'm just hoping maybe Shakur's one of them cats. Like, okay, look, this was cool. But let me get back in the ring in maybe two, three months, now, and you know, yeah, with, with the with the with the more. Uh, with a higher quality opponent, you know, yeah. I should say, you know, something like that to let me know is, hey, yo, I'm ready for the, I'm ready for a title shot, something like. Be that. Be honest, dude. This April, Shakur Stevenson need to be fighting again in July, mm-hmm. and then finish off the year in like November, December, or something. Right, and in in the case if Haney gets if Haney, I mean, I guess if Haney lets go of the belts after the Lomachenko fight, you know, by then, then you know, I guess. Probably the WBO, but will probably be. Well, yeah, well, probably, he's top three. Like, yeah, who, who knows? You got the winner of, of, of Tank and Garcia as well. You got fights out there. Like, right. I just want to start happened. seeing the the youngest and the most talented top five young guy young guys just mix it up. You can throw the main Ortiz in there, support right. Stevenson, all of them, Zapata, all of them. Like, 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 one fifty four can't be the only division that has all the young fighters getting in the mix like they do. Like, you know, yeah, they got. Yeah, it's time for lightweight. Like, y'all niggas get the bag, y'all get the little money, and then it's like, you know, that's why Tank Garcia gotta like happen and and and, and really just be successful because, I, I like we need to start say, like these young guys they gotta start fighting for real legacy and realizing like legacy equals long term money, mm-hmm. right. Yeah, yeah. I mean, lightweight division. I mean, I, again, I'm like, I'm pretty high on 126, 140, 154, but lightweight still been consistent. I feel like, I mean, we're getting some of these fights like Rivera. Yeah, no, it, it, no have- we we are, but it it could be better. Like especially with 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 top rank having a whole bunch of these guys, and it's like, mm-hmm. you know, we're not seeing the type of fights. Like remember, like. Well, Barbosa, sure you see how 140 is with Barbosa and, and all of them. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. They well, I'm saying what Sha- like, the thing is, Shakur and Keyshawn, they're under they're under the bud tree. You know what I'm saying? So they're not going to fight each other, and you know, they're, you know, unless there's a falling out, we're never going to see that fight. Even though, you know, that could be. A That's what I'm fight. saying because all these niggas is buddies. All right. these niggas is like, well, they're buddy buddy. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're like, bro. You know, like they train all the time together. So it's like, damn, nigga, I fight you for ten racks right like, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I'm saying like. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but I mean like like I said, I mean, either way, I don't think I mean that's not their final division, so I'm sure like yeah. say, 
I mean, they'll eventually go to different divisions so for sure. Yeah, you yeah. know, I always felt the four gestures would be fighting at one forty seven anyway. You know what I'm saying? Like uh, Teofimo, uh, Ryan, Shakur, and Haney. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I don't know. Tang might be kind of small for welterweight, but I'm saying you know, I could see all those mixing up at welterweight maybe. Yeah, they could be at one forty mixing it up. So I, I got I got a matchup for you. Ortiz versus Barbosa Jr. Who would you Who would you pick in that? Hmm. Barbosa. I'd want Ortiz to win, but but you know Barbosa's a one forty pounder. He probably won a decision. Nah, there. like Ortiz going up there first fight. First fight, yeah. huh? Yeah. But he, he, you, is he big and how big Ortiz he's is? Big, oh. He's a big, he's a big boy. Hey, he's moving yeah, I Barbosa, think Ortiz, Barbosa, Barbosa will win that fight. I think Ortiz could win that fight. That's a winnable. Fight. Yeah, that, okay, that, that's what I'm saying. Like that's a winnable fight. Like that's a good fucking fight. Like Ortiz can win it. Barbosa's the perfect one forty introduction for so many guys. <laughs> I feel like he's like the perfect. Oh, and yet they never use him as that. And I'm like, that, no. yeah, they don't like, they, they, yeah, because I mean, I think I think they're probably pissed because he ended Saucedo's career, so they're like, okay, yeah, he's kind of like we need to we need to monitor how he fights. He's killed a thirty percent ratio, but yeah, he did scramble that boy's egg. Some serious, yeah. So. <laughs> sure Saucedo's eggs, eggs were scrambled long before that. That's before also there. true. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. he put the final touches on. <laughs> yeah, no, but yeah, you know, the cover card, the day cover... one the last time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, like I said, for Saucedo, uh, yeah, Saucedo's fights were just like ridiculously bloody, and you know, like I said, you know, not everyone was meant to be Arturo Gotti, and well, Saucedo unfortunately learned that the hard way. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, because your, your career just has a everybody career is like, what's that deli ticket you get at the public at the deli? It's like you, your number, like yeah. some people, depending on your style, your your car to get called, your ticket to get called sooner than others, man. And yeah, exactly. When you I got like that, that style though. like that, your That's order get called. I do sooner. like that. Charles Martin, if you know, I know he's on PBC guy, but yeah, that, that'd be a. I mean, you know, I guess it's a good fight for for Big Baby. Charles Martin or Chisora. I don't want no. Chisora does not need to be in the ring with no. Yeah, Chisora makes a lot of money in the UK, so I doubt he. I doubt you. Yeah, Chisora, uh, uh, that, that's 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 pie in the sky. And Chisora is like closer to the grave than he is to, to yeah. fight. Right. Yeah, Eddie Eddie will not let Chisora fight Jared Anderson unless it's like a pay per view or some shit like that. And yeah, yeah, they'll milk that fucking. Yeah, they'll milk that shit dry. Char- like. You know, Charles Martin's a you know former world champ. He's you know obviously been getting be- got beat up a few times we've seen, but he still has he got one more loss in him. <laughs> this <laughs> nigga, like <laughs> he was beating the shit out y'all favorite fucking heavyweight Cuban the other day. Like, damn, yeah, we got yeah, he got beat up in the end though. <laughs> he got hung up in the end. Yeah, yeah, I mean, <laughs> it is what it is, but yeah, yeah like he, he fighting soon, so I mean that's we'll see what he do. Yeah. But um.